Hey guys, Jessica here, The Frey Family Coach. I am so excited for this video because we are finally doing an Embark DNA test on Kim. I have been wanting to do this for a couple of years now and I finally got this kit for Christmas. So I wanted to share it with you and bring you along on the journey of how it works and what Kim's test results turn out to be. So this specific uh, test, I will have it linked in the description below if you wanna get one for your pet as well. It's so much fun. So I definitely recommend you doing it. So it's a dog DNA test and it says best, better knowledge, best care, screen for 190 plus genetic health conditions, test for 350 plus breeds, discover ancestry and family tree, back to great grandparents, find and connect with your pup's relatives. How cute would that be? This is how it comes, boxed to you. And it just has a little sleeve on it, which is really cute. And then inside you get um, thank you for joining family, scientists and veterinarians around the world working to combat preventable disease in dogs. So that's like the whole point of Embark. So really cool. And then you open it up and here's what is inside. So it walks you through step by step. Okay, so it is just three steps, one, two, and three. So the first step is to visit the Embark website to activate your kit. The second step is to swab your dog's cheek. And then the third step, you mail it off and wait for the results. So, so excited to do this. I'm not gonna swab Kim's cheek right now because it says to make sure it's been at least 30 minutes since they ate or drank anything. And Kim, um, it's probably been close to that for Kim, but I'm gonna wait a little bit longer just to make sure we are doing this properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate the kit. We're gonna get the swab done get it mailed off and I'll see you back here when we get the results. Okay, so it did take right about six weeks for us to get Kim's Embark results back and it actually was like the whole process, I probably got three or four emails from Embark through the six weeks saying, here's what step we're at, our scientists are working on it, this is what's actually going on, like you can watch this video to learn more. It was, it was pretty cool because I know I recently also did Ancestry for myself and my brother did it as well and there were like almost no updates whatsoever. It was just like, we'll get to you when we get to you. But um, the Embark one was really cool and I actually got so Kim's DNA results for like genetic predispositions, which was interesting. And uh, then of course her breed results. So I'm actually going to insert some clips of Kim here and some pictures so you can take a look at her. And what I want you to do while these videos and images are scrolling on your uh, page right now, I want you to go in the comments below and tell me what you think Kim's breed result is and of course it doesn't have to be one um, it can be a mix of breeds which we fully expected her to be a mix of breeds so go ahead and comment below and let me know as you're watching what you think Kim's breed results were All right, so pretty cool when I log in to Kim's Embark page, she has 0.0% wolfiness, which says um, most dogs have wolfiness scores of 1% or less. We find populations and breeds with higher scores of two to 4% occasionally and unique dogs with scores are five, of 5% 5 or above more rarely. So she is definitely with that 0.0%. Um, her genetic age is uh, 52 human years, which is super interesting to me. Um, and then let's go here. So her health report from Embark was also very interesting because they test for all types of what she could genetically be predispositioned for. And she actually did come up with something that she could have 
a pre genetic predisposition for. So it allowed us, I, I'm providing this report to our veterinarian. We're actually getting ready to go. It, I'm recording this on a Saturday. We're going on Monday to have her well checkup with our veterinarian and do titer testing, which will be another video, which by the way, if you're not already subscribed, if you looked down there on that subscribe button, if it's red, go ahead and click it and turn it gray. And when that happens, a bell will appear, click the bell and select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. When I do the video on titer testing, super important for all pet parents to know about, you will be notified. I will be doing a video on that very soon. So she is, Kim, Kim inherited one copy of the variant for, so she's at increased risk for type 1 IVDD, which is intervertebral, intervertebral, <laughs> we can say that, intervertebral disc disease. Um, so this doesn't mean she has it. This doesn't mean she's going to get it. She's just at an increased risk to get it. And this was actually one of the things that made me like realize when I got this result from Embark that we absolutely have to stay on top of her weight because added weight is only going to exacerbate any problems that may exist with, well, a lot of things, but also with, um, disc disease. I read about it. So it was really interesting that Embark could provide me with that information. I think if nothing else, it is worth it for that. Um, but then let's get to what she actually is mixed with. I thought this was incredibly interesting. My husband thinks it is totally wrong. My mom thinks it is totally wrong. I see, I understand what they're saying, but I don't know how it could be totally wrong. So I hope if you haven't by now, post in the comment section below this video and let me know what you think Kim's breeds are. She does have a mix of multiple breeds. Um, she is, and I'll pull this up on the screen, she is 35% Chihuahua. No, I don't think I would have guessed that. She is 21.6% Poodle Small, so this small breed Poodle. Very, very interesting. 15% Miniature Pincher. 7.1% Cocker Spaniel, 6.7% Pekingese, 3.6% Pomeranian, she is 3% Dachshund, and 8% Super Mutt. So what is a Super Mutt? So Super Mutt says, some dogs descend from other dogs that were themselves mixed breed. These other dogs can give small contributions to the ancestry of your dog, so small that they are no longer recognizable as any one particular breed. We call this portion unresolved or super mutt since it confers superpowers. I'm <laughs> just kidding, but we do think super mutts really are super. For Kimberly, we have been able to go further and identify some of the breeds that we think may have been part of her heritage and have contributed to the super mutt portion of her genome. We cannot be sure given how little of their DNA is carried down to Kimberly but we thought you might want to know our best guess anyway. And these likely breeds that contribute to Kimberly's super mutt status are the American Water Spaniel and the German Shepherd. So I don't know, the only one of these that I see in Kim is Pomeranian. What are you made of? Huh? Look at this Pomeranian fur you've got right here. Yes, you do. You got some Pomeranian fur under there. We didn't know. Yeah. I This was confirmed when we actually trimmed her hair. So if you haven't seen the previous videos where we actually groomed Kim, one of them, um, Aquapaw was nice enough to send us the Aquapaw Pro, which we installed, and I absolutely love. I don't want to bathe her any other way now. Um, so definitely check that video out. And then the follow-up video, I actually, like... Uh, trimmed and shaved her hair and when we did that all of the hair around her neck is like 100% Pomeranian hair. It's really super interesting because I always like even before we decided to, to shave her um, I would take the thinning shears around like her main area and it's because it would get so super bulky in this area and not on the rest of her body. And now I know why. It is because underneath all of that fur, she has that really super cottony, fuzzy Pomeranian hair. And I love it, but 
<laughs> it's super cute. I don't know why she doesn't have it anywhere else on her body, but she doesn't. Um, but she is, in fact, a Superman. So let me know in the comments if you see any of these breeds in her or if you feel like you don't see any of these breeds in her. I totally would be right there with you. So I thought Embark was super interesting. If you have not tried it, if you are interested at all in it, even if you just want to take a peek at the website, definitely check the link in the description. Um, I actually have a page on my website for um, specials that like sometimes they'll go on sale and I will I, you know, update the page if they're having a sale. And Embark is one of those companies that I have listed on that page, so I will link that page as well in the description below. Um, the Embark link is an affiliate link, but you don't pay any more. It just helps me to continue to bring you content and grow the channel when you use an affiliate link. So um, all of those links will be in the description below. And let me know if you do the Embark or if you even have done the Embark test in the past, I would love to know the results for your dog. Share them with me. If you have not already joined me on Patreon, I don't know why not, check the link in the description to join me on Patreon. My patrons over there on Patreon actually found out Kimberly's Embark DNA results long before you guys over here on YouTube got them. So you get all new exclusive content over there on Patreon and you get behind the scenes and behind the scenes content and like before anyone else gets it content. So make, make sure you have joined me over on Patreon and I also have Discord with Patreon so you can also chat with me over there as well. I can't wait to see you in the next video. I can't wait to hear from you. If you've done the Embark DNA test or if you're getting ready to do it, I wanna know what you found out for your dog. Were you as surprised as I was? Cause I am super surprised at what Kimberly is made up of. I had no idea. I thought more terrier. I mean, there was no terrier <laughs> in there whatsoever. I definitely thought there was going to be some terrier in there, and there wasn't. Especially considering the rescue we got her from said she was a silky terrier mix. Like, I, I don't even know where they got that from. But anyway, I can't wait to hear from you and what your dog's in bark results were. Yeah, I really want to. I, I really, really, really want to know. I'm so interested in this now. And uh, oh, another cool thing about Embark is that like you can connect with other dogs who have their parents have used Embark for them if they think that they may somehow be related. Like you can actually connect and chat with each other. So that's pretty cool too. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It really helps me to bring you more content and to bring you good content. So I can't wait to see you in the next video and learn more about your dog as well. See you then. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.